Thank you, Gary. Uh, this is Paul Henney. Uh, I'm a practicing dentist as well as one of the co-founders of the Bob Barkley Study Club. And I appreciate the opportunity to at least share a few thoughts about how to improve case presentation. Um, we could spend days on that, but let me just kind of narrow it down to some kind of treetop level ideas. I think number one is we need to understand who it is we're talking to. Do we know them very well? Do we know their backstory? Do we know their situation? Um, if we proceed with telling a person a lot of uh, things that they need to do or basically create a list of deficits uh, about a person that we don't know, um, it can be very um, problematic from a relationship point of view. And a lot of people will just shut down if there hasn't been a lot of time spent or at least some time spent in developing a quality relationship uh, with the person. So uh, number one, you know, do you know the, do you know the person you're talking to? I mean, this is uh, uh, so fundamental. I, I almost hesitate not to mention it, but uh, we do get in situations like that in dentistry. Number two, uh, is the situation, the person in, uh, is it complicated or is it simple? Is it something that can be explained, you know, with, by taking a photograph or pointing something out? Um, you know, in just a few sentences that most people are able to comprehend, or is it a complicated situation? Is it like a multidisciplinary problem? Uh, you know, it's got, you've got bruxism, you've got pathologic migration of teeth and perio problems laid on top of that, and attrition and so on and so forth. So you've got multiple issues, very complicated. Uh, the more complicated the person's issues, the more time you really want to spend developing a relationship and building up their awareness of their situation, as well as paying attention to how they're responding to the information. In other words, if you're presenting information to somebody and it just doesn't uh, seem to be relevant or important to them, then that's telling you an awful lot. And it may be very well telling you that it's not time to be presenting an elaborate treatment presentation of this person. And that type of person, you probably just want to present maybe a, what I would call a phase one plan, a stabilization plan. If, if as you're kind of proceeding through sharing information, learning together, co-discovery, as you do that, uh, you notice that the person is engaged, they're asking questions, they're showing some concern, they're looking to you for some leadership then that is a time where you want to very carefully take the opportunity to share that information in a way that they can comprehend it. And we as dentists can very easily just blow past our patients because we know so much and we're constantly thinking about it, we're constantly talking about it. And we, we're, in a, we're in a position where we can overspeak and assume too much. And so uh, we need to be very careful about sharing a piece of information, kind of checking in with the person to make sure they comprehend what we're talking about, as well as try to get some feedback from them relative to what it means to them. So their response to this process of sharing information, feedback, sharing more information, should influence the kind of treatment plan you're gonna present. And if it's just too much, if it's too overwhelming you know, to the person. I will commonly say, I don't, I know this is an awful lot of information and I don't want to overwhelm you. This is very important. The decisions that we'll make today will influence you for many, many years. And what I'd like to do is get to a place where you can look back on these decisions maybe 10 years from now and say, I am sure I'm glad that Dr. Henney helped me understand this and the decision I made then was the right decision. I want you to be able to look back in 10 years and say, I sure am glad I did that. Versus, boy, I rushed through that, I didn't understand it, and I made this other decision, and boy, do I regret it. So uh, that's probably my main message for today. Know your patient, understand the circumstance, present the treatment plan that's appropriate for the level of the relationship at that point in time, as well as the kind of feedback you're getting from them. Your job is not necessarily just to prove your brilliance and 
and uh, therefore overwhelm them with your expertise. I can tell you from a lot of experience that doesn't work. So uh, knowing your patient, these are all Dr. Pankey isms. Knowing your patient and applying your knowledge requires a lot of uh, you know understanding, self-understanding, and wisdom. These are things that we acquire over time. If that's kind of new to you, don't get frustrated by that, but keep focused on it and keep developing it. And if you have any questions about that, please contact me or get on the Bob Barkley Study Club and you can contact me through that organization and I'd be happy to help you out with it. Have a great day.